Have you ever wondered how much a startup should budget for finance charges that are pre-disbursement, especially if it needs to raise more than 1 million USD? This question isn't just thought-provoking, it's also exceptionally relevant to startups seeking hefty funding. The world of finance charges can seem labyrinthine, but fear not, we're here to unravel the mystery. Understanding pre-disbursement finance charges is crucial to planning your startup's budget. Let's dive deeper into this topic. To navigate the financial labyrinth, we first need to understand what pre-disbursement finance charges are. Pre-disbursement finance charges, in a nutshell, are fees that a startup may need to pay before they receive their funding. These charges can be likened to the toll gates you meet on your journey to the promised land of financial backing. How are these charges calculated? Well, it's not a one-size-fits-all scenario. Factors such as the amount of funding your startup is seeking, the type of lender you're dealing with, and the risk associated with your business all play a crucial role. Some lenders may charge a flat fee, while others may use a percentage-based system. When are these charges applied? Typically, they're applied after your funding application has been approved, but before the funds are dispersed. Hence the name, pre-disbursement finance charges. Now, why are they important for startups to consider? These charges add to your startup's initial expenses. They can put a dent in your budget if not properly planned for. And remember, in the startup world, every penny counts. In conclusion, understanding pre-disbursement finance charges is like having a map in the financial labyrinth. It helps you anticipate expenses, plan effectively, and ultimately keep your startup's financial health in check. Now that we've demystified pre-disbursement finance charges, you're one step closer to mastering your startup's budget. So what does all this mean for your startup's budget? Well, the implications are significant. Pre-disbursement finance charges can take a significant chunk out of your startup's budget. That million dollars you're raising, it could be reduced by tens of thousands, even before you've started spending it on your business operations. This is why understanding these charges is crucial. They directly impact your financial planning. When you account for these charges, you might realize you need to raise more than you initially thought. Or you might decide to seek funding from different sources to minimize these costs. And let's not forget, these charges can have a ripple effect. They can affect your ability to hire, to invest in research and development, and even your marketing efforts. Remember, a successful startup isn't just about a great idea. It's about understanding the financial landscape too. So keep these points in mind as you plan your startup's budget.